Hello, my dear students, and welcome to this week overview. During this week, we'll be covering the concept of cell transport. Firstly, our learning objectives of the week. Explain how passive transport works and explain how active transport works. Passive transport is a mechanism by which substances move across cell membranes without the input of energy from the cell. There are two main types of passive transport. We have diffusion and facilitated diffusion. We are going to be talking about diffusion first. This is the movement of molecules from an area of higher concentration to an area of lower concentration until equilibrium is reached. This process occurs naturally due to the random motion of molecules. For example, if you have a high concentration of oxygen molecules on one side of a cell membrane and a lower concentration on the other side, oxygen molecules will naturally diffuse across the membrane until the concentration is equal on both sides. While facilitated diffusion, some molecules such as large polar molecules or ions cannot easily pass through the lipid bilier of the cell membrane. In facilitated diffusion, specific proteins called transport proteins or carriers proteins assist in the movement of these molecules across the membrane. The molecules then move from an area of higher concentration to an area of lower concentration but they do so with the help of these proteins. For instance, glucose molecules are transported in cells through facilitated diffusion using glucose transport proteins. Both diffusion and facilitated diffusion are passive processes because they do not require energy input from the cell. Instead, they rely on the inherent kinetic energy of molecules to move them across the cell membrane. These processes are crucial and important for maintaining the proper balance of ions and molecules inside and outside of cells, which is essential for cellular functions and overall organism health. Passive transport, which is a diffusion, this is a visual representation. For example, we have here higher concentration of solute on one side of the membrane than the other side. Diffusion causes the net movement of solute particles from the side of the membrane with the higher solute concentration to the side with the lower solute concentration. At equilibrium, particles move equally in both directions, so there is no net charge. Then we have here also the facilitated diffusion. As you can see here, we have cell membrane and we have here water. Also, we have osmosis. We are going to be discussing this and much more during the week.